Oh my gosh. Sorry. Let me just get this in the tripod here. It's going to be a little busy. It is Thanksgiving weekend, so I don't expect anyone to be here. But if you happen to check out this video and you haven't been to this channel before, be sure to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss a beat on toy unboxings, pull-up doll unboxings. Now, usually, mostly, I do uh, pull-up doll unboxings, but today I am going to unbox all of these toys because I needed to make some space and room on my, like, toy wall over here. Hey, how's it going? How are you? I don't know. Are you in Canada, the States? Happy Thanksgiving. So, yeah, I, I needed to make some room up here, so I took down this Rainbow High doll. And I'm not going to be on camera today just because I feel, like, kind of garbagey. Hey, how's it going, Dylan? Oh, okay, so it's not Thanksgiving. Yeah, so we're not celebrating Thanksgiving right now. But I know that it is Thanksgiving weekend, and it's, like, going to be probably not super <laughs> litty on this live stream, but that's okay. Um, these are some things that were kind of in queue that I needed to unbox. So I thought I would just unbox them all right here and now. And if there's time, I may open my Hime Hime doll, but um, I don't have like a stand for her. So maybe not because I don't really want to unbox her and then like put her back in her box. Yeah, I'm doing okay too. I've had a little bit of a crazy day and I'm feeling like I need a little bit of a break from motherhood. Um, I used to go on these trips before I moved in with my significant other where like I would go and just like do something. Like I did some dance training for three weeks. I did some yoga training for a month. I volunteered for a month. And I think if you're a mom, it's good to travel <laughs> alone and kind of fill your tank. And I haven't done that in a while. So I'm thinking of doing that soon, but it's kind of like a trade-off. It's like, do I travel and get that time or do I <laughs> buy some stuff that I want to buy? <laughs> so yeah, this is what we're unboxing today. I actually have some really pretty eye chips. I'll just go and get them. I want to show you them. I got them. Oh, no. One of them fell out. Ah. So I want to see. I have these eye chips and they're actually too small for pull it. So I want to see, hey, if they will fit um, Yola May, which honestly her eye chips look big as well. Her eye chips actually look really big. So they might even be better for Dal. I'm really hoping that they fit Dal at least. I think her eye chips are a little bit smaller. I don't know if it's just me, but Yola May's eye chips look like really big to me. And I don't know if it's also just me, but it looks like this live stream recording is like, sorry, I'm just going to wipe the screen. It doesn't look that clear to me. Like it's kind of a bit blurry. What do you guys think? I'm actually live streaming from my phone instead of my 4K webcam because I kind of like this new setup where like I've got the table and the pull-up near Chan video is just uploading right now and I was sitting on the other side of this table while I unboxed her and actually looked pretty keen but I'm gonna stop <laughs> I'm gonna just start unboxing things now so maybe we'll open Yola May first but I honestly think that her eye chips are it's a little bit blurry right I thought so too and I don't know if it's just you can see it pretty clearly huh I don't know, maybe if I moved this tripod back. I feel like it's clearer with the webcam, but I guess we'll find out when it saves. Could just be like a lag thing. I don't know, I think these eye chips, her eye chips look like they're the same size as pull-up. So let's just get her out. I know I already unboxed a Yola May on my channel, but I had this other one that was gifted to me from Pull-Up Style and um, I really want to change her eye chips and like customize her wig. Oh, okay. Well, as long as you guys can see, that is all that matters. So are you guys going to partake in some Black Friday shopping or 
<laughs> I, I don't know. I'm kind of like, I want to buy some stuff. And at the same time, there's like this cosplay event happening in Vegas. And I kind of want to just like use my credit card and go to that. I'm really craving some just like time away <laughs> from my family, to be honest. I absolutely adore my family. They are just so, so wonderful. But yeah, I used to travel quite a bit uh, before I got into this like super domestic situation. And I think I might be missing a bit of that. So yeah, the standard stuff that Yola May comes with, her cute little shoes. I'm actually curious to see if there are other shoes, like what other outfit I might be able to get her in. So unfortunately, she does not come with a stand. But I remember um, Hime Hime Dolls told me that she once got um, a Yola May from Pull Up Style and it was like covered in mold. So she said to like open it up right away and have a look at her. So there is her headband. I'll just... Yeah, you'd have to rebody her if you ever got her. You're going to go to some stores to see what they have. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's tough. You know what's funny, uh, Violetta, is I went back to Toys R Us, and of course those real drama dolls were, like, gone. Not that I was going to buy one, but... Lately, I have been going to Toys R Us in the store and not feeling like a strong urge to buy something. And yeah, her body, is, her body isn't the greatest. Like, I do agree. But it's not terrible, but it is a little bit strange. <laughs> she does. And this is the authentication card. It's like not even an actual card. But the animation style is really cute. Oh, her neck. Does she have a neck peg? Oh, she does. I looked because I actually am interested in... So let's talk about this. The Paris Hilton. What do you guys think of the Paris Hilton Rainbow High doll and the latest pull-up that they... I think they just posted it about it today. I don't know what I think of the dress. Honestly, I need to look at it a little bit closer. It's, it, it's pretty unique, that dress, but I don't know. <laughs> I wasn't immediately drawn to it. After you guys see, um, I, like, I fell in love with Pull Up Nier Chan, and I actually, I feel like I totally would have a second one of her. Like, I would get a second one and then rewig her or even just have her for the outfits. Oh, come on. Oh, my Lord. Oh, my Lanta, sorry. Oof. Okay. <laughs> Struggling here. Where's my scissors? Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Yeah, I don't think I, I don't know. I don't have any like super strong interest to get any other pull-ups um, other than Yelena, maybe uh, Mao, and maybe, what is his name? He is Isol. He kind of looks like a K-pop star and he's on sale right now at Pull-Up Style. I actually really like him. Okay, so her head is like super swivelly. And then, yeah, she's got the stringy legs. But I don't see any mold. I think she's all right. I'm not seeing any mold. So I'll just... Oh, I'm worried. I'm a little worried about her legs. The new pull-up so good, except her lashes are ugly. <laughs> Lower lashes, thicker lashes around the placement. Yeah. Isil Yun, thank you. Yeah, I... um. Oh, how do I... Chat viewing options. How do I... Oh my goodness, I need to figure out how to use this live stream on my phone. Live chat, all messages are visible. Oh, there we go. Displayed with Futule. Uh, streaks of blue. Oh, that would be really pretty. Yeah, I would really like that too. But the dress style was like a little out there and um, even like the latest pull-up 
uh, fu, uh, the like really oriental looking ones. Wow, can't cut and talk at the same time. I was like really on the fence. I think it's just because I have so many pull-ups that need to get unboxed and I, I will run out of room and I will have to probably make some room by doing like a bit of a purge, which is on just so scary to me. The new pull-up is cute. Yummy. Yeah, she's cute too. She's a bit overwhelming. Ah, it's funny how that works. The more you look at a pull-up doll, don't you feel like you just are falling in love with her and all the things that you thought you didn't like you suddenly are just in love with. You're like, oh, I love that. I love that. <laughs> and they're all just so different. Well, not all, but a majority of them are really different. I like Yami too. I actually think that she's really cute, but I don't know. I need to, I, I definitely need to consider, you know, who I'm going to keep because I can't, I can't be like buying 10 more pull-ups and then like, where am I going to put them? <laughs> and I don't think I'm going to set up more shelves. Okay, so no mold. I think we're good. Um, I do want to rewig her, but it almost looked like... Oh, okay. So the eye chips. Let's see here. That's what we wanted to look at. So much prettier in person. The promo photos make her look garish, but the colors work. Ah, uh, okay. It always works out that way, though, right? Like, they do look better in person. So I don't know. I think this eye chip is still a little bit small. I think she's got the same size eye chips. Like she's just got these really big, gorgeous, gorgeous eyes. But I think she is the same as pull up. So we'll just put her to the side. I don't know. I hope these, <laughs> it's always a chore deciding who to sell. It's really hard. I, I, I'll probably have to cross that bridge around March or April of next year, I'm thinking. I really hope these eye chips work for Dal. We'll have to have a look. Okay, so what's next here is I ordered this shirt for a smart doll or one of the, I don't even remember the name of the shop. I'm sure there's like some marketing stuff in here. Oh, that's cute. Doll Delights. Premium Dolphy Dream and Smart Doll Clothing. Cuteness. I really, really like that. I'm just like collecting all of these little artsy giveaways. So there's a receipt in there. So I got this cute doll shirt that says Bimbo. <laughs> it's funny because my girlfriend... Her Instagram bio says Bimbo Queen, and I swear she has this exact shirt. <laughs> I love it. So cute. And then since I was on the website, I think I've had this package just in my desk here, in my table here for, I don't know, six months. Since I was on her website, I thought, okay, let's get one more thing. And I got this oversized... Usagi shirt, which is really cute. Oh, that's so cute. So it's supposed to be kind of like a boyfriend fit and oversized, but that's adorable. The print quality is actually really good. Cuteness. Oh my gosh. I want to throw this on one of my smart dolls like right now. Let's, I just need to, I think I need to lift this up a bit. Okay, wait. We'll unbox these first, and then if there's time, then we'll do it. So let's do... Oh, no. Her face looks like... Oh, no, she's got wrinkles. I thought... Wrinkles. She's... I got wrinkles. She's got freckles. This little... I thought this little backpack was really cute, and I was sad because I wanted two of them because I have two smart dolls, and I wanted them to have matching backpacks. I didn't like any of the other backpacks, but there's, like, all these little things inside. So I think that'll be cute. Let me just bring this light down. I feel like this light is not, maybe that's a bit better. It's pretty rare that I go to Walmart and I like want to buy something other than a rainbow high doll. But I know I was kind of throwing a little bit of shade on my TikTok on OMG dolls. And I'm still not a big fan of them, but some of their outfits are really, really cute. And I, I wouldn't mind having a few of them to see if their outfits would be cute on other dolls. 
Okay, so this is a Seven Surprises Little Mermaid Real Littles backpack for a smart doll or a BJD. That's really cute. I feel like this lighting situation could be just a little better. There we go. Kind of see the reflection there, sorry, but... I don't know, on my screen it looks blurry, but there's nothing I can do about that now. Okay, what's in here? Oh! So the sticker has a little bit of bubbles in it, but, oh, okay. Maybe push it up, there we go. Pretty! Look at this stuff, isn't it neat? Oh my gosh, what is it? <laughs> What is this? It's iridescent. Oh my gosh. Aw, it's a little marker. That's cute. Do you guys follow Dream Toy Adventures on Instagram? It's like this family. And this mom always has these banging nails. And she's always opening these like real littles or miniature things. And she always does like ASMR. And it's just very satisfying. Her Instagram and her YouTube channel. Sorry, I just realized this heater is on behind me. So you're going to hear that. It's got this little zip at the front. You can fit something in there. And some stuff on the inside. Little keychain, mermaid keychain. It's just sparkly. That's cute. Uh, 3D foam stickers. See, is, is that just me? It looks blurry. I'm gonna have to rewatch this after. And what is this? It's an envelope with just two pieces of miniature stationery. Okay, that's pretty adorable. I feel like this stuff is really good 1-3 scale doll stuff. I'm into it, I'm into it. Cuteness. All right, little hot pink carabiner. And then, yeah, it's just got like the under the sea vibe. Got here, Ariel. And what was his name again? Flounder? Flounder? Okay, so we'll put that to the side. Um, next, we'll. I'm not gonna open this all the way because I want it to have its own separate video. But in here, really exciting. This is my very first and one and only and probably will be my one and only because it's so not a collectible that I want to get into because I feel like it would get very, very pricey. But in here is my very first one and only Sailor Moon Proplica item. I need to turn off this heater now. I'm getting too warm. Okay, that's better. So I did get this on eBay all the way from Japan. And I have also had this package just like waiting. It's been like here for like six months. It's got some, ooh, Japanese. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Just drop it, why don't you? Some Japanese newsprint and a little note. This is da 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 da. Thank you for making a successful bid. We hope you enjoy this item. Shi Shijeji Obara from Japan. Cute. And there's a little paper crane in here. Do you guys know how to fold these? I used to love folding these. Let's pop it open. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> the urge to buy SM Proplica is intense. Oh my gosh. <gasps> uploaded to your videos. It's uploaded, you guys. It takes forever to upload a video, especially if it's in 4K quality. Oh my goodness. But Pull Up Near Chan video is now uploaded. Okay. Just pop in this little crane. So cute. When I learned how to make these, I thought it was just the coolest thing. I feel like it's one of my talents. One of my very good talents is to make one of these, but that's adorable. So that is my second crane that somebody made 
in Japan from an item that I ordered from Japan. And yeah, we're not going to open this today. I'm going to give it its own video, but exciting. Because I have a Sailor Moon cosplay, I wanted to have this so that I could hold it up and do some sort of TikTok transition. So I'm really, really excited. 2014. All right. So we'll just put that off to the side over here. Now we officially have two last Surrey Moon babies. So I'm going to save the very last one for a while, I'm pretty sure. But let's open up this one. I think I'm all shopped out with blind boxes as well. But I did run to the mall to get just one blind box of this Sanrio Sakura like cherry blossom edition. And that one's up on the shelf, which I'll unbox at some point. So let's... I know which ones I already have. So I'm hoping to see Rocket Girl. She is the one with the red rocket. I have not yet seen her. Oh. <laughs> I am a psychic. Oh my gosh. There she is. <gasps> Does this little cover come off? No, it doesn't. And it looks like it's a little bit scratched. That's not cool. But this is really cool in general. Like this part on the back is transparent. And then, yeah, we've got her little rocket ship, blue eyes, red. Does she have an extra accessory? Sometimes they have a little pet that attaches to them. Nope. Not in this case. This is her identification card, which will have her name on it, which is Rocket Girl. <laughs> they're so addictive and it's like easy to buy like a few of them because they're not too expensive. But then when you buy the whole sets, it's kind of like, yeah, it's crazy. But they're, they're really fun and she is so cute. Wow. So I'm definitely going to display her with some red manga. They kind of just hang around my manga. I've tried to scan these QR codes, but I think I have to live in like Korea or Japan because it doesn't work in Canada. And then it says um, Surrey here on the side. Very, very cute. It's got the gold, silver. This is like a gunmetal y blue. And yeah, just impeccable quality. I think that the Rolif, like Surrey blind boxes are always just like really good from what I've seen, from what I've seen. Okay, packaging over here. So the next one is Dreamy Stage. I only bought one of these. And I guess if I had to choose the one that I like the most, I would say it would be, I don't know, they're all really cute. Nightmare Witch is really cute. And so is look for dream. <laughs> I like that. It's kind of fobby. I remember having like stationery from these imported stores and them having like just like Japanese stationery just being really fobby. What a job to design toys. That would be the best job ever. Oh, in terms of design, the pull-up doll clothing line, as an announcement, is now underway. So Monday, I'll be making a deposit on, I think it's like nine outfits. And then they're going to make 50 pieces of each outfit. But they're going to send me the samples first so that I can review them and make sure that they're exactly what I want. And then they'll go into production. So I'm really, really excited about that. So that'll be something to look forward to in the new year. Okay, so little identity puck. And, oh, that's pretty. So they really put some design into the actual bag. Dreamy stage. That's gorgeous. Love it. Yeah, as much as I would love to travel on my own, there's like a part of me that knows I could just spend days and days in this room playing with toys and unboxing toys and be pretty fulfilled as well. Oh, I got the one that has like, oh my goodness. Okay. 
Oh, this is so cool. What the heck? Okay, let's put this. So let's look at the identification card. Cuteness. Okay. And, oh, there's another card in here. Hold up, hold up. Oh, it's just one of those QR cards again. So we'll just stuff that in here. Okay, so this is really pretty. It's iridescent. It's got this pearlescence to it, and it's really shiny. So that is sweet. And then I guess these little guys just sit. I'm a little confused here because it doesn't look like there's any set notches. Like there's a little hole at the bottom of him, but oh my lord. Okay. Uh... <laughs> what is going on yeah so they just sit on these clouds there are these little divots okay so who goes at the top the bunny piggy at the bottom oh there we go okay so he does fit perfectly into the groove and as does she let me just camera down here oh I am so sorry, love, but this is so gorgeous. I wonder if all of these dreamy stage blind boxes have like some pearlescence to them because the pearlescence on the clouds is absolutely stunning. And you know what? I was kind of like, oh, I hope I don't get one of the little pets and that I get one of the girls, but I absolutely love this. And oh, I wish I got two or three more, but that's okay. That's okay. It's really special just to have this one. Okay. So let's slide you over here. And then next up, we've got the Sanrio characters blind box. So I did get a few of these because I just love Daruma. I love Takane and Hana and there's so much mention thereof and giving of Daruma in Takane and Hana manga. So I did want to buy the entire box set, but I stopped myself because I spend too much money. <laughs> Probably not enough money, but too much money on toys. Oh, oh shoot. I got two of these. Oh my goodness. Okay. I guess I don't really need to. I guess one could go upstairs. Maybe I'll, I'll, maybe I'll do a giveaway for it. Oh, uh, I'll show you guys anyway if you haven't seen the other video. But yeah, I have, oh my goodness, let's bring that down. I have two of these now, officially. I guess one could live upstairs. And it is a really cute one, but I was hoping, because I unboxed two already. I got Cinema Roll and Karomi. So I have one more, and hopefully it's not Cinema Roll or Karomi. So I obviously grabbed, I'll show you the identification card. I obviously grabbed, they, they obviously condensed the boxes. I thought that they were all going to be different. See, that's the thing when you buy these. If you don't buy the entire set, you like run the risk of getting two of the same one. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Finally, the doll. So let's just pan the camera up here. So we are going to unbox this Slumber Party Brianna Dulce and we're basically going to rip it apart because these boxes are just atrocious and I am just really not a fan of Rainbow High Doll boxes at all. Um, I think the easiest way to do this is this and this. Oh my, oh my goodness. And this. So how's everybody feeling with the temperature and the winter? Are you guys <laughs> experiencing seasonal depression? It's funny because I don't feel like I experience seasonal depression. I just feel like I'm always like a little bit depressed. <laughs> Not to sound emo. I can laugh at it. But um, yeah, I, I use like toys and like dancing at a nightclub as my escapism because yeah 
I, long story short, the story I just keep telling over and over is I got knocked up early and it's been pretty intense being a mother since then. Okay, pulling out the stand. Oh, yeah, man. Wow, I did pretty good there. That was probably the fastest I've ever opened a Rainbow High doll box. Okay. So, top chat, da da da. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I didn't miss any chats. I love these dolls. So, I'm going to grab, I unboxed her. I'm going to grab her. Rainbow High doll fans, I'm so sorry, but I already forgot her name. But I just love her slippers. Like, holy, they're adorable. She is so cute. And then she's, ooh, she's got the slippers too. So get her stand ready to go. So do you guys do anything with these? Because this and the hair comb is just going to go in this big Ziploc bag. I was thinking it might be kind of cool to make some sort of art with all of the Rainbow High doll combs because there's so many, like a collage of them, maybe. I don't know. I know the hangers, I could obviously make like a little closet and then hang the hangers on them. Okay. Stand. Good to go. And... I actually really love the stock of these dolls. Rainbow High dolls, I either absolutely love the stock or I like low-key kind of hate it, but I'm okay with it. One or two pieces I'll be into, but a majority of them I'm not. Or I think it's like cheesy, but then I kind of think of K-Fashion and some K-Fashion is kind of cheesy. I just throw away the Rainbow High doll hangers since you have no use for them. And you just lay out the clothes. Yeah, I have all the clothes in a drawer. So I feel like I should throw out the hangers, but I don't know if I'm just holding out to make some sort of doll room. So here are the extra shoes. And these are really cute. They just say magic on them. And they oh, don't say rainbow high on them, which I really like. Oh, it does say rainbow on the sole here, but you can't even see that. And then they come with these sleeping bags. So the sleeping bag is actually something I really, really wanted because I wanted to get a doll photo of these two girls and then maybe some pull-ups and yeah, have a little actual slumber party. Um, tabs, tabs, tabs. Okay. So here is the sleeping bag with the pillow. That's pretty cute. It's got this weird little animated character on it. It isn't screaming like RH. It's very subtle. And I do like the blue and the red. It's giving me like 70s. This is cute. Never let anyone brush your bubble. Cuteness, cuteness. And then this character is blowing a bubble. Adorable. And then this outfit. This is a really good additional stock outfit. A, because it's not branded with a bunch of Rainbow High branding. And B, because you just can't go wrong with like a plush tracksuit. I feel like every girl has to have a plush tracksuit at one point in her life. I used to always wear these matching sweat tracksuits when I was in junior high school. Oh, okay. So it does say rainbow on the pant, on the butt. That's fine, I guess. Oh, look at that. Okay, we got to take that out because it looks, it's giving me juicy couture. It's really, really cute. But yeah, I tried to find that Paris Hilton rainbow high doll and to no success, I don't know where to get it, but I actually really want it because I want to look at the face sculpt. And I grew up watching that, um, what is it called? Simple Life? Have you guys seen that? It's like the Paris Hilton, Nicole Richie reality TV show. It's actually really funny. But yeah, so it's kind of like a little juicy couture couture tracksuit. And then it says Rainbow High with this, I'm assuming, now I'm curious. But, oh my gosh. 
I wanted to see if it's a short sleeve. Okay. It's a short sleeve. The Simple Life. Yeah. <laughs> it's hilarious. It it seems pretty authentic. I don't know how much of it is actually staged. Like, you don't know what these shows. Like, I loved Singles Inferno. I don't know if anybody's seen that. It's like a Korean reality show. I'm sounding like such a suburban mom right now. But I'm not suburban. I actually just live right near downtown or inner city, which is kind of nice um, to live super close to downtown. But yeah, I never know what these shows, but I just eat it up anyway because it's entertainment. And I don't really like Big Brother and stuff like that, but I really liked Singles Inferno because everybody was like really respectful. Uh, I honestly loathe unboxing rainbow high dolls. It is just so annoying and fudge sickles. Okay, next tab here and here. Okay wrist and hair and doing pretty good so I know we have to take off this top part I'm gonna complain about this every single time I have to do this but I'm probably, I don't know, I'm still on the fence. I thought about unboxing Heather Grayson today, but gosh, she looks so cool in her box. Same with my Storm Twins. There's something about certain dolls in their boxes. I just really love the way they look in their boxes. Okay. So close. Come on, come on. <sighs> breathe, breathe. Okay, she's going to face plant now. <laughs> I called it. I'm so sorry, Brianna. Are you? Oh, my God. <sighs> I would name call you right now, but I'm classy. Okay. So let's just get her leg it's like, I don't know, rotated. So here are her fuzzy slippers. They're little bears. Adorable. I adore these. And I feel like they definitely will go well with pull-up. So they're like, they're like little flocked. It's like plastic, but then it's flocked or it has fur on it. So that's kind of cute. Oh my gosh. I just thought that calico critters would be cute little like plushies as well. Now her hair has a tab. It's like sewn into the robe for obvious aesthetic for in the box. And then I love this robe, but I so, <laughs> this print reminds me of kind of the jacket that Daphne, is that her name? Daphne Minton has. Like I know it's kind of supposed to be Versace, but i never really been a fan of Versace so I don't know I get it she's like kind of fab ghetto fab <laughs> she's she's flossy she's rocking the Versace I get it but it's it's not my personal style her hair is like really hot pink in comparison to I don't know where she is right now but yeah her hair is almost like a fluorescent pink which I really really love and then she's got her little eye sleeping eye now there is a bit of gel on her forehead and then her face up does have the strong I, I think it looks fine on the shadow high um dolls but I don't know what I think of it still on these girls hers is not as thick and as prominent as hers so it is a little bit more subtle and then I think her face sculpt is a bit wider I actually don't hate or mind her face up but yeah, the earrings, <laughs> like I wonder if I could maybe replace this fabric with something else. It would be kind of a project, but the slippers are like, they're worth to me. 
like a good 30 Canadian dollars just all on their own because the slippers are really adorable and then her slippers are really adorable too. So let's just put her in her stand and I think we can definitely try this Sailor Moon shirt on somebody. So let's just slide these girls over here and then I'm going to grab dimension. Oh, there goes Pachaco. So here is dimension. She is obviously really tall and I don't know why I had her skirt like that. I think it was because of her stand, but normally I just going to set her down like this. Normally I do put on gloves. So I'm just going to grab them when I handle the vinyl dolls because, I don't know, they're so darn expensive and I just feel like I need to treat them like they're really valuable jewelry and I don't ever want to, um, I don't know, I just don't want them to have wear and tear, I guess. So yeah, she's huge, but... The thing is with her stand is it does work with this skirt, but it kind of doesn't. So I'm just going to go ahead and take off this skirt. She does have her undergarments on, so that's good. She's not going to be nude for the video. And the Attica doll body is in fact on sale. And so I am definitely debating it, but it is still 300 US dollars, which is, yeah, really steep. Really, really steep. So here is Dimension, just a gorgeous girl. And we're going to get both her arms off. So you just kind of gently rotate them off like so. And then we're gonna slip her shirt over her head. I'm just gonna put her in between my legs. Stand by, stand by. Cuteness. So yeah, the shirt is really long. So it's definitely like almost kind of like a sleeping shirt. Oh my gosh really really cute I love it and we had this arm over here so just slip this through the sleeve so yeah doll unbox toy unboxing and then just a little bit of doll play I have a video that I'm working on I <laughs> had this doll Dolphy dream doll that I got from Facebook marketplace but it's feet were really, really stained. And so they are soaking right now in this Dolphy Dream Rescue Cream, which I am hoping will at least lighten the stain of the feet. At least it's the feet and the feet don't really show. But to me, it's still kind of dirty and I don't prefer it. I don't prefer seeing a poor doll with a stain. And then unfortunately, my other smart doll, she was holding that puppy that I got, the punk puppy blind box, and her little, like, the tips of her fingers got stained with black from holding the puppy for too long, maybe a couple weeks. So these dolls really are very prone to staining, henceforth. I'm glad like the stock wigs are relatively light instead of being a fashion color. And then, so it was kind of stresses me out, but okay. So good enough. So really cute. Oh my gosh, this could go over the shoulder. It is a little wrinkly here, so I don't know if I'll, I'm scared to like take the steamer to it. I feel like I would just leave it. I guess I could take it off and then steam it, put it back on, but now it's already on her. So she can live in it. Really, really cute. And then I'm just going to push her socks down and I'm going to put 
her stand back on. So I guess you're not supposed to put the stand like in too far and then just shorten the stand a bit and pull this down, which surprisingly works. Ugh, I don't know. It kind of works. It kind of doesn't. Yeah, it works, but then it takes away a bit of the width on her spool. I'm not sure if I'm like an absolute fan. She might just have to sit down. <laughs> she looks huge from down here. So I'll just bring her a little bit down. There we go. Hey. So I will set her down where she is supposed to go. Da -da -da. And then I'm going to take you guys off the, um, the tripod and just show you guys around a bit. So I am actually, oh, I think it zoomed in. Oh, that is so weird. It's like zoomed in. You ate it up as a kid. I know it's so problematic. Is that just me? It looks like the camera like completely zoomed in. It's really strange. How do I? Da -da -da -da. No, I don't know how to. I'm double tapping, but it's really weird. It's like extra zoomed in. So I think I'm gonna, I was gonna show you guys around, but this is really weird. Test run, but not really working. So I will have to let you guys go. I don't seem to be able to get out of this zoom mode. Oh, yes. Yay, I figured it out. So here is the mess <laughs> that I just made. But yeah, the new setup is that I'll be sitting on the other side of this table, like on the cushion. And then I was thinking of actually getting like a pullout like couch so that I could sleep in here some nights because my partner and I are kind of like trying something different. It's my first long-term relationship and I'm kind of feeling a bit like suffocated to a degree. Uh, this case is going to be for Utena, but I want to have a cosplay. I'm thinking the school uniform because an actual cosplay of Utena is going to be really expensive and just a lot of work. Now we have a doll here that I'll probably change, you know, every now and again on this like piece of crystal. And then this is starting to finally fill up this wall over here. So I put some plushies and there are some dolls but eventually I want to have on this top row pull-up dolls, but I have to get stands because the actual pull-up doll stand doesn't actually fit on here. And then slowly but surely getting to unboxing. So I have quite a few Thursdays ahead of me because I still have to unbox all these dolls. So every Thursday will be a pull-up doll, but this Thursday I did need to unbox these things because they were waiting. Super big mess now that I'm going to have to clean up. And I wanted to see if this Yola May doll was going to take these eye chips, but I don't think so. So I think I'll just be customizing some Dal dolls and then putting different eye chips in her that will actually fit her. So yeah, there you have it. Thanks for tuning in again. I'm sorry I wasn't on camera today. I just kind of feel like I look really tired and I did feel kind of tired, but I didn't really want to lay around either and I wanted to be on stream and chatting with y'all so be sure to send me some messages on instagram of doll stuff i always love getting your doll messages and let me know if you end up buying any of the recent pull-up dolls i would really love to see pictures of them i don't know if you're gonna post them in like the emocha crush thank you dylan you too um but if you end up buying like a pull-up doll and if you feel like sending me a text and showing me it it's always different to see like photos of pull-up dolls on people's cameras versus the actual stock photos. And yeah, you guys all have a really good week. Enjoy playing with your dolls this week and I will catch you guys. Oh, so next Thursday, I actually have to stream at an earlier time because my son has like some sort of music recital. So I'll just like announce the time probably on Instagram. It might be like during the day. You have a great rest of your night too. Good luck with your studies. And bye, Pull Up KK. I hope that you, 
are having a great week with anime and Sailor Moon and all sorts of fun, cute stuff in the cuteness world. And yeah, talk to you guys soon. Bye!